You're listening to KCYP 97.7 The City. This is Scarlet Rose and you're now listening to RGB Rocks. Thank you for the intro, Onyx. Once again, you're listening to KCYP 97.7 FMOP The City. This is Scarlet Rose on RGV Rocks, KCYP 97.7 FMLP The City. It's a nonprofit organi- organization that promotes local artists such as myself and is a home of indie music. We are now accepting donations through our website, www.thecity977.com, and as well as sponsorships to keep this radio station thriving. For more information on paying donations, sponsorships, or business advertisement, feel free to contact Joe Martinez at 956 956- Seven eight nine zero seven zero two, or by Martinez Joe at hotmail.com. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below if you want to donate to us or even subscribe to our Patreon, and you'll get exclusive perks when you click that link. So be sure to click any of those links below. Um, to the people that don't know who we are, what we do, RGB Rocks is an online podcast and now. It- well, actually, yeah, it's an online podcast and also it is dedicated to local talent events and all the wonderful people in the RGV, such as you and I. Today, I have a very special guest with us today. His name, oh, he goes by Frank the Tank, but his name is Frankie G. How are you doing today? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine, girl. What's oh up? Oh my gosh. So you have a lot of talent. I don't think anybody has gone over that before because you're not only a comedian, you're as well as now an actor. And then you said you do voiceovers and stuff like that, right? That's a, yes, that's a yes, lot ma'am. of talent. Because you, you, I remember when you when you were sending me all the emails, it was just like a list and call, went on, on. And I was like, yes. dang, we have so much Valley talent here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so That's um, what happens. Do you want to introduce uh, yourself to the audience of who you are and what you do? You want to give like a little bio for yourself because oh definitely. my gosh, it's my, so much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. My 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 name is Frankie Guerra for Frank Guerra, and I go with uh, with the usual name of Frank the Tank on stage or Frankie G. And uh, I was I was basically um, I do I'm a entrepreneur. I I I have my own business. I have a couple salons here in town. I do mortgages with uh, with a Michigan-based uh, corporation, and which is I work with uh, Mario Flores and and from Michigan, and we are licensed to do loans here in the state of Texas. Oh but that is like a side thing that I do. I want to focus on my comedy career and the acting, and which the acting don't went didn't go too far because I only did a couple of commercials, and I thought I was gonna be able to leave comedy, but now I'm back to doing comedy. I'm hanging out with some strong guys and I love the guys, especially the guys from Recall Production. Mario and, and Raymond has been helping me out really good. I, I used to do the open mics there at Cine El Rey, mm-hmm. but you know, since the pandemic, it's been really hard on everybody. And, and I think they're gonna get back going again. And that's what I'm waiting for now. And definitely, yes. Mm-hmm. And my original, were you going to ask me or should I just start saying like, what's when I started and all that? Or do you? Oh, no, you I can ask you, but you can you can start. You can start because I'll dive okay. more into that, actually. OK, yeah, definitely, man. And, and what I want people to know is um, people want me to do more stuff and bring out more like what I'm going through and all that. And, and sometimes sometimes what happened as a comic, you know, you have your personal lives that you're dealing uh, tragedies that happen. And we're trying we're striving, trying to go through that. It's like you're in the fire here in the RGV. It's like you're basically in the fire with a lot of so much competition as far as the comics, the stage time. They give you a certain amount of time. You got to get people laughing. If you don't do the five great minute set there, you bomb. You got to wait till next week or the next time you're you're allowed on the show. And, you know, but I've helped the guys in different ways. I mean, I'm also not a comedian. I also drive for the guys, sell merchandise for the guys. And and uh, and you can tell that I'm I'm there to help. I'm there to help. And I everybody when I see somebody struggling or they need help or they need rides to the show, I'm the driver, man. I got the limousine oh service that I can provide for the guys, but it is kind of expensive when we use a limousine. But when, when I use my truck, I'm, I'm there for them, you know. Oh my God. I, I try to help out every, either way, you know. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, you're going to be picked up by Frank, like in a limo, and be like, yo, is that the next celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely well if you're in the limo it's because you either got a lot of money or you're the next big thing from the valley rgb yeah. yes definitely is oh my gosh no. have you ever been like in the limo has anybody dr- driven you instead of like you you're the one that's like driven them 
I that was back in 1998. Oh my god! <laughs> when, when I hired it because I was getting married with uh, I was the, the what do you call it compadre to my a friend of mine. But no, I've never been in limo. I mean, now I have access to it, but thanks to Mr. Uh, Gerber Morales. I don't know if you who you know if you know Gerber Morales. I've been working with him lately too, and we did a couple of videos. One video uh, turned out to be 1.9 million views, oh and that God. that I thought was going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to get my second big hit, you know. But it's tough because I'm in and out of the of the scene, mm -hmm. and, but I'm still here, guys. I'm still here. I'm ready to do things for the the stage for the comedy. I'm going to be with the Recall Productions Sunday, uh, the 19th, I believe, the 18th of next week. And it's going to be an awesome night. And and hey, if I can't make you laugh, this is my saying when I get on stage. If I can't make you laugh, I got a friend that'll make you laugh. You know, <laughs> I want to I want to stay positive with it. everything. Yes. So where's the venue at, or like what time are you possibly going to go on? Or oh, when I can it, promote those right here. I can yeah, promote, you can yeah. promote it. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, definitely rock Rockwell uh, Rockwell right here on the Nolana Rock Tap House. The uh, the you, you if you've heard of the place or no? Yes, I heard. Yeah, 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 it's a it's a pretty good, nice size venue, and the guys have already been like uh, building it, and it's it's starting to work out but good for these guys. They're from Harlingen, and they come here to entertain people in the valley. So I'm gonna be working with them. Usually, I'm gonna just be honest with you. When I don't get on the flyers, but I'm still promoting it because my schedule is so you know here and there. So I usually be uh, like a special guest or a guest spot and I fill in. But when I'm promoting it, you're more likely I'm going to be there that night. You know, either I'm taking Mario, I'm taking uh, este, uh, Omar, or I'm working with Raymond. And I'm always there. I'm doing something all the time. Even if I don't get stage time, I'm selling, I'm promoting, I'm doing something. And that's the energy I bring to the table as far as, you know, trying to help people get their promotions, their sponsorships, their, you know, their their people to get people in the, in the building to come see them, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that when you first uh, came onto the show, I even before like we even started the show, you were just ready to rock and roll. Oh my gosh, it oh, was like yeah. a it was a wave of energy. Because uh, I think every single, even no, not even every single. I think it was just like one other comedian that had that like sort of energy. And even then, like I know like a lot of people that come on our show, they're like really nervous, and then they're like fidgeting. They're like, oh, what do I say? What do I do? But you're like just ready to go. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Hey, and that's about a four or five hours of sleep too, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Last night was a rocking show. It was also all over the, the town, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, 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 feel I still you. think I'm 25. I still think I'm 25 in a 50 year old man body. <laughs> oh my God. No, I feel you though, yeah. because the thing is like, I'm the type of person that has like four to five sleep, uh, four to five hours of sleep every single night. And the thing is, I don't even know how I do it sometimes because uh, I know I had uh, people questioning before. They're like, how do you wake up so early? Like, how do you do yeah. it? And I'm like, I just, just wake doing up. this since, like forever, <laughs> you know, yeah, but yeah. Um, going back into like the interview, we usually ask our, our interviewees this very important and special question whenever they're new to the show. And what is it? that you like about the RGV and why? Oh, the RGV is, I hold something special with RGV because I was born in the RGV. Yeah. 1969, Edinburgh, Texas. Oh my gosh, and, you're in Edinburgh, and, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm an all-American city. I, I really love this town and I really know, I really love what's going on. What I hold dear is the main landmarks that people are still making these landmarks stay and stick strong together. You know, you got to mention Cine El Rey. I know, I know it's kind of conflict of interest to mention it, but <laughs> I have a whole special part for Cine El Rey. Uh, Mr. Bert uh, Guerra is an awesome man. Isaac is an awesome, and I always question, are we damn related somewhere? Because we we got that energy. It's always happening. Bird is a little bit more calm, but I've seen him on the open mics and in music, and it's he's awesome. It's just the the what I I love about RGV is we have so much talent, and and we we just gotta you know gotta stay in the in the crowd and make it happen. And I know that a lot of things are coming here because people are moving into Austin. People are you know mm -hmm. big names. You know, big uh, Rogan and, uh, you know, what's the Chappelle's around and they're coming, they're coming because they know we we're like a like a like a sea of talent here, man. It's in, and here in the Valley, I mean, you got entertainment, all kinds of entertainment, you know, and, and people just need to get word out to come here to record, to come here, do the Zooms, to interview us and see if we fit the part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like just like last uh, this Friday. 
I was uh, casting for three parts and the guy knows that I'm not an actor, like a professional. I'm, I, I do tell myself I'm an amateur actor. I got in late to the scene and basically he gave me an opportunity to do castings for three parts and and i believe i hit one of them but he's going to tell me on the 28th which is uh that's when we're going to record it he mm. said just do the victim do the guy that's going to get killed and do the security guard guy so i'm trying to get in wherever i fit in you know mm. even as an extra i'm in, in you know what i tell people the people from the rgv are so humble you know even though they've done so big things like you know like like uh, they got record labels, they have uh, uh, nominations and stuff, but you'll see them do a small commercial that doesn't pay much, but they want to get our name out there. We're, we're, we use a lot of the 956, Puro 956, yeah. RGB <laughs> rocks. And you know, and we're so proud of our uh, Southern Southern tip down here. And, and we got to tell the people out there in the, in the world, hey, you know what? We're not a, just a bunch of dumb, you know, the F words, you know, down here, yeah. we have talent. We we're not dumb. I mean, I don't know if I've done a lot of research that people, they believe uh, outside people, they believe this is all Mexico, but yeah. we have so much that, better talent. That's true. We're smart and educated down here. You know, we have people with de degrees, bachelors, uh, doctorates, and, and they're all Latino and they are from the RGV and we are smart individuals down here, you know, mm -hmm. but we just decide to stay down here because the, the economy, the, the the cost of living is pretty cheap, being on a Texas border or Mexican Mexico border. And that's awesome. You know, that's a, that's a perk that we have. Plus, we have the beach 60 miles away from us yes. in our backyard, girl. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. No, I've, I've been, that was the whole reason I, uh, I even started this podcast. And I was telling uh, Frankie G, even like before, like the interview that uh, I wanted to showcase a lot of Valley talent because now not only is it known, well, well, the RGB is known for its talent, but the fact that a lot of people don't know about it, like a lot of, even a lot of locals don't know about it as well. And uh, I think even years ago, uh, when I first started like this podcast, it was really hard for people to understand that, you know, the Valley is one of like the most diverse areas in Texas because of the fact that you have like, so much, so much talent from all over the valley and th people don't understand that and that was the one thing that I wanted to like point across saying that you know we have all these valley talent we have all, the, all these people that need to get interviewed because they do so many things for like the RGV and people don't really realize it until now so yeah, oh, <laughs> with yeah, that definitely. said with that said how did you how did you even get into like comedy how did you get into acting uh how did you get into like all these things Okay, I, I, I'm a late boomer and, you know, I'm the guy that I was chosen the very last, you know, when you're in high school that you're picking out a team, mm -hmm. I'm the guy that never got chosen. So now at 52, I'm, I'm struggling because of that. Mm -hmm. I started back when I was 46, 48 and, and I had a trucking company. So what I did so I can intertwine with the open up with the comedy, I would do open mics anywhere in the state of Texas. So my starting point was Corpus Christi. I have a soft spot for Corpus uh, Mystique Comedy Club, if I can drop the names. The <laughs> yeah, people and my friends, <laughs> my friends down in, in, in Corpus or up in Corpus, they were awesome. They invited me and I, I felt like I was at home there too. We There was a lot of comics that were born from, from uh, Mystique Comedy Club. You know, to name a couple of big guys, big shots, Steve Trevino, he was brought up from uh, Aransas Pass, uh, Corpus Christi, and the opportunity of hanging out with him. I mean, I didn't, I've never done a show with him, but I've hung out with them behind the scenes and be right on there at the show. But either I was working as uh, the doorman or the security or the selling merchandise for them. But the thing is, what happens to me is I have to wait for the guys to tell me, hey, you're ready. Come on stage. Like yesterday, I got invited to go to South Pider Island. But my schedules were conflicting from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I had already had some plans. But definitely Corpus was my starting point. And I admit that it happens uh, 2016. I just decided to get up on stage. And, and you know, there was a lot of critics saying that I was never prepared, uh, that I need to start writing stuff down more. I mean, I was being attacked by even by our own peers. But mm -hmm. that attack really helped me out because you turn the criticism into something constructive. Mm -hmm. 
So basically, I started working on my five minute sets. I started working on big jokes. And uh, my a lot of my my friends that are like mentors now, which is Mario and Raymond and uh, Louis Cartoon, and you know, and and people always say, just do it, get up there, do five minute sets at a time. And it it, it all started from there. And and then one day I got lucky, the acting part. I mm-hmm. have to say that because that's the, my biggest, I don't know if you can see my shirt right here. Yeah, I see it. I promote, I promote the together. <laughs> I thought it was something, I thought, you know, this acting position, I got, I got uh, picked up by real films and uh, I was able to audition. We were, it was, it happened by accident to tell you the truth. Really? I was there to, my, my daughter was there trying to interview for, or a cast for a, a part for her. And, and I was going to be like the, the parent. And, and we were going to do the like a commercial for uh, the dad and the daughter dancing. And then the lady tells me, hey, I got a part for a, a bank that, uh, that you want to try out for. And I guess I don't know what caused her to say that. But, you know, what happens here in the Valley, if you're there at the right time, at the right place, mm-hmm. you might get picked up. You never know. And this is what I always tell my friends and even you right now doing this podcast with me. I mean, everything, I, I feel that everything, everything I touch turns to gold. Yeah. For some reason, I can't turn it to make it for me, <laughs> but I always help people out and everything, whatever connections I got, I help out and aid. Hey, you got to go here. You got to do this. And basically is, yeah, they gave me the part. I mean, they, they, they said, try out for this part. So I was like, you know, I did, I did together like 50 times. Can you imagine that having the repeat 50 times yeah. together? And and the, I guess I finally did it. And I don't know if you had the chance to to look at the commercial, but that commercial, I always tell everybody about it. And and I I did uh, some shirts that I sell after the shows, which is a together show. Mm-hmm. And I do it in Spanish. I mean, hablo hablo español también. See, I can drop that too, so I can do voiceovers in Spanish or English. And hanging out, I guess. I don't mm-hmm. know what else. What do you What do you think? <laughs> oh my god! No, like what's it called? You, well, you're going based off of like the whole like oh whatever you touch is gold. Don't worry when 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 you're here with us at the podcast, you'll you'll end up getting that sort of fame too while you go at it because oh my gosh, there's so many people that are watching us right now and even shout out to the the viewers here on RGB Rocks. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing, especially since like I think we have a thousand something on Instagram and then we're getting close to that thousand on Facebook so that's even like more exciting about that so like shout out to you guys that make uh, this podcast even like available oh my gosh thank you so much Definitely. yes but um but no I feel like in in this case that uh you've done so much for people you're going to end up you know somewhere big along the lines I know that you said that you were going like in and out of fame here and there with like the comedy with the, even the acting the voiceovers and all that other stuff and I feel like that's like a really huge thing here that uh that you need to be uh aware of that you are one of exceptionally amazing people here at the art like even in the RGB so even kudos to you I mean like oh my gosh this is what hey you I'll take do. that girl I'll take yeah. that every day yes definitely thank you so much for the support I mean thank mm-hmm. you for the you know it's a good support and just hearing it from other people I don't know it's just awesome to hear that you know because you got to stay in and stay in the swing of things being mm-hmm. in the stage being on and out the right people I mean RGV rocks man just like you say it on your show RGV mm-hmm. rocks yes <laughs> yeah. Um, so you were saying that you got a little nickname and I kind of like hinted it at the beginning of the show, Frank the Tank. Do you want to go off on the story about that? I thought that was pretty cool. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, Frank the Tank, you know, I mean, there's other people being called Frank the Tank, but they call me El Tanque, the Frank the Tank, because I'm really, really like, you better watch out because I'm coming and I'm coming full force and the high energy that I have, I'm just pushing through oh that can be done oh yeah it can be done let's push through it i'm the tank for your tank you know as far as you know i mean i'm really not i'm really aggressive passive aggressive mm-hmm. but i'm really aggressive when it comes to something i i feel that we have to do it 110 percent you know i'm gonna bring something up and and i was like uh mr bird guerra one time called me up hey frankie i know you have a trucky company and uh Hey, dude, you think you can help me out? I got to move this trailer. I said, Bert, I don't know, dude, let's do it. And then and then Bert says, dude, it's really old, the trailer, man. It's been sitting for I don't know how long, 40 years. 
but the guy wants me to move it out. And I said, Bert, I'll be there. You tell me what time, bro. Oh so I gosh. grab a truck. I grab a truck. We go connect to the trailer. And, and you know, just totally simple, like a, like the Smokey and the Bandit kind of deal. I said, Bert, the trailer has no plates. The trailer is rusted. It's it looks like it's gonna fall apart, and it was it was so bad. And and but it did have air. The tires were aired up. I don't know if Bert had somebody air them up by, by the time I got there. But I hooked up to the trailer, and I told Bert just stay right behind me, dude. We took it way out uh, in the uh, outskirts of Westlake, up to another guy that I guess the guy is the bald head guy that talks for frijoles, and and it was that. I'm bringing that up because. I, that's the kind of person I am. I'm going to give and I'm going to help. And then uh, Isaac heard about that I was helping or trying to volunteer to help uh, Bird and them. And then uh, Isaac tells me, Frank, you know what, dude? You're an awesome guy, man. And thanks for helping out my brother. And, you know, and I bring that up now because I want people to know that I'm a giving type of guy. If I can do it, I'm a giver. I know I'm a giver. I know I, I realize it at my age and I like to help people out. And and uh, and uh, that's why I'm the tank, because you know what? I get done. And sorry I said the word. No, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I, get it, I, get, I get it done. You know, ask Frank. He knows. He got contact. If he can't get it done, I'll find somebody that can do it. Just tell me what you're doing. And then I always I was thinking, this guy will work with this guy. And I'm always the guy that I'm networking and bringing people together. You know what I'm saying? Together. Mm -hmm. This right here, I bring people together. That's my purpose in life. I bring people together. Let's I bring energies together, vibes together. And you know, and some people, I'm not, I'm not the type that everybody's gonna like me. I'm not, I'm not striving for that. But if you, if you're if me and you are kosher, we're we're getting along, I'm gonna help you. And I never ask for nothing in return. So that's why I know I feel that something's big is coming to the valley which is Frank the Tank. <laughs> yeah. that's a, it's coming. That's, like, that's a funny intro. Oh my gosh. It's like, you know what? I'm coming. You know, let's go. Let's get this. Yeah. Get hey, the show yeah I'm oh coming my in. gosh. But yeah. um, let's go. One more question before we end the show, because I know we're already, we're already like closing in on time. And that is, um, what's it called? So you've done your acting for a while and i know i noticed that before the even the the show started off you mentioned that you're acting in a film or like a commercial or something beforehand do you want to talk a little bit about that because i know you said you wanted to mention like acting more in the oh in definitely the yeah definitely so you can pick me up what i what i do is i partake in the, in the acting part when i'm i'm always casting i it's it's the abcs of sales right i'm always in the abc is a always be casting so my thing uh i went to go cast for uh, uh for jc films he's gonna do a little script about a guy a mexican dude trying to become a security guard in the united states and he doesn't have no papers. He doesn't have nothing to tie him into the United States, but he's trying all his best to get to become the security guard and big old law enforcement. So, you know, he has his mentality. So the part that I'll be playing is uh, the victim or, or the, the security guard itself or the, 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 the killer. You know, because I got that, the, the look of a killer, the look of narco, the, the look of gangster. And, and the guy says, dude, oh, my God, man, you got so much energy. And the guy said, you're in, uh, you're in, I'll put, I'm going to put you in somewhere. And, and then I, and the guy, like, he gave me, like, the lines, he didn't give them beforehand. He gave it to me on the spot. So they're one-liners. And I said, I love one-liner next. You know, one, uh, you know, you know, it's just, it's just so, like, like for me, easy to learn. And, and I, I'm on the spot and the guy really liked it. Hey, I was dressed up, you know, I wanted to, you know, dress to, you know, when I went there, I had my dress pants and he tells me, Hey, do you mind? I'm going to put you on your knees. I said, no, dude, tell me what I got to do to get this part. So he put me on his knees. Don't be thinking dirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I had my dress pants. I'm there in my knees. <laughs> acting acting out this part that i'm gonna get killed you know oh and and, and he's and then and then uh and and then i'm i'm there returning the the the, the dialogue I said no please don't kill me sir i'll pay you what they're paying you please don't kill me so that's one of the lines i'm doing and, and it's gonna be a short film 
the guy, JC Films, I don't know if you know the guy really good, but I mean, he's out there, he's promoting movies, he's doing, he's been, uh, he's a judge for a lot of different uh, directors here. He sits on a committee and whatnot, and I think it's going to be something big, and, and uh, whatever, I told him, whatever part you can put me in, I'm, I'm really humble, and, and then I, I, I have the, the habit of underselling myself, like undervaluing myself, mm -hmm. and that's what people in the Valley need to know, to value themselves. And, and to give themselves value because if you hang out with people, no, nah, that guy's a hundred dollar guy. That guy's a $200 guy. You know, mm -hmm. no, you never know. That could be a, a $2,500 guy for, for a half hour or, or 15 minutes. You know, I'm, I've seen people charge different times. You never know what you're going to get paid. So don't undervalue yourself, give yourself value. And that's where I'm at my point. And I, I know I bring value to the table and I'm bringing people together. And, and you got to just remember from this interview, I am bringing people together, together, you know? Together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, what's it called? Yeah. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this interview. Thank you so much, Frankie, for even joining us here today. Cause oh my gosh, it's like a Sunday. Oh, if, for people that don't know, we, we pre-record our shows. So it's like a Sunday, it's in the morning, you know, you can't like get up on time and stuff like that. It, it's it's a hassle to even like just get up sometimes. But thank you so much for joining us here today on RGB Rocks. Uh, any quick promotions again? So you could, I know that you said you're going to uh, do a comedy show soon, right? Yes, wanna, definitely. We're going to be at that? the Rockwell, at the Rockwell next Sunday at the Rockwell. I'm following this group and I'm working with this group called Recall Productions. And I'm gonna tell them about this program so that maybe you might wanna interview some of the guys. And those guys, believe it or not, they're younger than me, but they've been around for eight, 10 years in the comedy world. And they're getting their name out there as Recall Productions. And there's, a, there's about eight of them. I'll mention a few guys that really affected my career. You know, Anthony Nino, Roy, uh, Lalo, Lalo Hernandez, Jesse, El Pelon, Perez, you know, those guys are all awesome. And I'm going to be working with them. And you're not always going to catch me on the flyers. But when I'm promoting the show, I'm going to either get involved behind the scenes or working the show itself. And I just I just express to the people just come out and let's do this together, you know, yes. together, together, together. together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. I look forward to hearing more from you. And I'm going to be following you guys and telling people about RGV Rocks. And hopefully we can get some sponsorships to you, you know? Yes, sir. You know, the oh my Lone gosh. Star Bank and my my cousin that owns a mortgage company from uh, Michigan base. And, and we're also a Texas based uh, a lending institute for if you want to buy a mortgage, you want to buy a house, refinance a house. And that's Van Dyke Mortgage. And that's one of my main uh, sponsors and one of my, my main guys because he, anytime I need a sponsorship, I tell Mario, hey, I got, I got this guy. He's going to sponsor. He's going to do 500. He's going to do a thousand. And that guy is the guy, my cousin from uh, Michigan, uh, lender, Michigan based lender, but he's also licensed in Texas. Wow. So definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so yes. much for calling uh, me. Any... Thank you for giving me. Uh... I was going to say any shout outs or like any, uh, what's called social media plugins before you leave. So that social way media oh mine mine or who? yeah <laughs> yeah yours <laughs> oh yeah my, my i'm under frankie guerra and facebook and uh uh the the instagram it's frank underscore da underscore the tank underscore comedy 69 i don't know why i did that underscore a lot but that was the only way i could get that name so i had yeah. to do it that way so my explanation there it is <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh, and then you can also check me and my numbers there available in the Facebook and uh my number's been around for 20 years so 20 25 plus years and and it's investment you can call me about investments uh turning around like a show like if I can invest a thousand and I can make 1500 2000 mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm getting I'm it's a hard car it's hard money lending that's what they call it so I'm there for investments if you need a limo I'm right here all we got to do is talk to Gerber Get set up the schedule. If you guys want to go, like uh, RGV Watts, it's got a big show coming. You guys want to ride in the limo. It's an old school limo, but it's an awesome service that provided by me and Gerber Morales. And I'm his uh, professional driver, you know, and I want to treat you guys like, uh, like the, you know, the big talent that you guys are, you know. I, that's what I do too, you know, whatever, whoever I'm driving around, I treat them like they're kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Hey. That's the only way to do it. Thank you so much for interviewing. Yes, okay. any any shout outs? Because I know you mentioned a couple of them. Do you have any other more shout outs or no? Well, yeah, it was Anthony Nino, uh, uh, Roy, um, 
Jesse, Raymond Orta, you know, everybody knows Raymond, and he doesn't even need a shout-out anymore. He's huge, big. Mario Superstar, Salazar. I said, get him, my homeboy. I love his energy. I missed the open mics. I, I went to España the other day, and Libby was there, and we were there at the bar. It was awesome, and and uh, and Isaac and I talked about li providing limo services for, for his customers, some of his uh, wilder customers and stuff, and uh, we were there, and uh, Bert, Bert Guerra, you know, I love you, man. You know, Bert always, you know, whatever you need, he provides the service there at Cine Rey and everywhere, you know. Oh, oh, by the, oh, I was compensated about that trailer. Mm -hmm. He took me to this uh, hibachi type of restaurant uh, where they make the food. I, I can't it, remember the place. Is it Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said, I think that he takes every, 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 I think he, he wanted to show his appreciation. And I told him, you don't have to do it. I said, no, Frank, let's, let's have lunch. And you know what? I'm not, I, I, I really enjoyed our talks and, 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 and this pandemic really changed the course of things. And I think we, we're not going to be able to use that as an excuse anymore because next year is going to be totally different. Mm -hmm. And I know Cine El Rey, I know I talked to Bert and he wanted to re re redo a lot of stuff there at, at Cine El Rey. I've seen the restroom and everything he's been changing around. And I know it's going to come back strong in, in next year. And, and hopefully this, uh, all this pandemic is, you know, is behind us and we can start focusing again on comics, on actors there at Cine El Rey, bring back open mics. And I'm willing to do, I mean, I was doing my open mics. I, sometimes I would be hosting and sometimes not. And, and then I, I will sign somebody else to host. So it would, it's an awesome thing. And the shout outs are, are I can go forever, girl. <laughs> like, remember when I, remember when I started this interview? Yes. You need to stop me oh because I will keep going. <laughs> That's why they call me Frank the Tank because I don't stop. <laughs> yeah but thank but anyway, you so much uh, what's it called continuing that but thank you so much <laughs> we'll stop you right there because we're already close on time but thank you so much frank oh my gosh uh what's it called if you guys want to check us out learn more about what we do on our show make sure to follow us on facebook instagram and twitter uh facebook and instagram is just rgv rocks and twitter is rocks rgv once again facebook and instagram is rgv rocks and twitter is rocks rgv thank you so much for joining us here today on rgv rocks i especially want to remind everyone and even a huge shout out to people that are listening in all the time i just want to remind everybody thank you for listening to our humble show we hear next time on kcyp 97.7 fmlp the city see ya